Hey loves, welcome back to another video. In today's, I'm gonna be showing you guys what I think about this new headband wig that I purchased from Amazon. So first things first, we're gonna go ahead and wash it. This process was probably a bit more complicated than it should have been because I am washing it at the table that I'm filming at, opposed to washing it, you know, in the sink. But that's neither here nor there. We're gonna go ahead and shampoo it really well. And then I'm going to go ahead and condition it also. So after I get the conditioner applied to the hair, well, I'm going to attempt detangling it, which I actually did do pretty well with, but I got sick of filming it because it was a struggle, so I did it off camera. You guys, if you have a mannequin head, it'll work a lot better than me doing it this way than you doing it this way like I did you know what I'm trying to say um but yeah got that done and we're gonna swipe on over to the next clip here in a second because this just it wasn't it it wasn't it so here you see that I am parting my hair to corn roll my hair down now my hair is super thick in the very middle so the way that I'm about to part this Y'all probably like why, but honestly, that was the best that I could do as far as getting the braids braided well enough. Like, if you know, you know that I recently had um, like a diva cut, not really a diva cut, a pixie cut <laughs> a little while ago. So the size of my hair in the very back are actually shorter than the middle and all of that good stuff. So the way that I have to part it to braid it down is just the way I gotta do it boo and that's just that period okay anyway so flying through this gonna go ahead and of course braid the back down then we'll head to the front and then we'll get this uh wig applied period Alright, so next scene, I'm going to go ahead and oil my scalp. If you know, you know that you need your scalp oil whenever you put it on a wig, period. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and oil this really well. And I'm going to lay my edges, starting off with um, some gel. And then I'm going to go over what I, you know, pre-create for my edges with um, an edge paste. And then, yeah, your girl gonna be on fleek when the edges come through, period. And I've been doing this for a while now, so it's pretty easy to me. I kind of just know how I'm gonna do it, how I get it done, how I want them to look, and all that. So if you feel like you want a more detailed tutorial, on edges you know comment below let me know I'll gladly do that for you but here we are period done love it then we're gonna tie it down so you can set it cuz who doesn't I don't know if you don't set your edges you're tripping so now I'm showing you what the wig looks like never mind the little fuzzy part right there we're gonna straighten that out we got it looking back right She's super curly, really cute. I was feeling her. I was super excited. My face probably didn't show up, but anyways. So now I'm gonna show you the straps. It does have the strap that goes around like the nape of your neck to help secure it. If I can hold on to it for y'all. <laughs> All right, and then on the inside, there are two combs, one on each side. Now, like I told you before, I have a straight wig and my straight wig actually has two combs on the outside and one at the front but this one only has two on the sides but it also has this extra i don't know string here to help tighten it and that just helps it not slip off your head i 
All right, your girl is looking real nice with some edges and set. They laid. Period. Now we're going to put on our cap. Because you got to have a cap on to protect that hair up under the wig. It's just ridiculous if you don't have it. And, yeah. It's what she look like. Now, on the front, I usually take my red tail comb and I just tuck my edges under the cap because they do kind of pop out a little bit when we don't want that. So I just tuck them with a red tail comb just to give it that more sleek look. And then, once everything is all tucked in and in place and all that good stuff, we're going to pull this back because the headband wig is much different than like the front laces and all that other stuff y'all be wearing if you wear them <laughs> uh yeah so you got to kind of push it back so that it leaves room for the actual headband part on the wig but also leaves room for your edges to be out now if you're not laying your edges and you don't care about the wig sitting the headband parts sitting right on your forehead you don't have to do this part you don't have to push it back really just fill it out for yourself but i like to push mine back so that my edges can show and have room for the headband so you finna see your girl struggle a little bit trying to put this wig on because it was much different than my other wig and I just had to figure it out. But I did and it's cool. We gonna get there in a second. Hold up. Yeah, the struggle was low-key real okay period but we here we got her on she's looking nice let's finish getting her adjusted and i got excited combed her out a little bit brushed her out a little bit more and yeah y'all oh not yet because see that's why i need that that comb at the front right there my other way has a comb right at the front there to make sure it don't slip i just mm, i don't know why they didn't put one on this one but anyway so got her on got her nice and and sleek and moisturized put um some leave-in conditioner on her as well so she wouldn't be so fluffy and all in all you know this week this week was pretty nice the only complaint i really have about it is the fact that it doesn't have three combs on the inside because that third comb will help secure the very front part there are times where i was trying to detangle it and it would just slip and fall back and I wasn't here for that. Now, I will say that this wig is a lot more high maintenance than I wanted it to be because it is so curly. It does detangle. I mean, it does tangle easily. And I'm a lazy natural, so I ain't got time for trying to comb out this wig like this. So that that's, that's another con for me. Other than that, like, she looks really nice. You know, she serves her purpose. The assignment got tackled. And I mean we here will i wear this one often mm, no do i wear this one often let's be honest no like i said she's high maintenance but you know she'll come in handy when it's time and right now like i said she served her purpose she was cute here she lasted for a few hours and then i took her off <laughs> but overall i give this wig mm, eight out of ten eight out of ten just because i had i had two little small issues but she cute she nice she long, she curly, she thick. That's another thing, y'all. She thick. Like, you don't have to worry about it being thin at all. She's real thick. Real sweet, real nice. But yeah, we here, y'all. And that is pretty much it. That is all I have for you guys. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. If you made it this far, you're the GOAT. You're the real MVP. I love you, and I hope you love me. <laughs> all right, until the next video, y'all. I'm out.